Okay, today we're going to set up NeoVim testing so you can run tests in file just like this. You can view the test status on the sidebar. And if a test fails, you can view the diagnostics into why that's happened. Now, first things first, we're going to need a plugin called NeoTest. Now, this plugin, you can plug loads of different adapters into it so it'll work with any language. So if we just grab the default config from down here, and then if I just show you, all here is the test, test runners that are supported. So today we're going to be using Jest and Vitest or Vtest. But obviously this will work for any of these languages similarly. Just follow the adapters config. So if we just copy this, just like that, and then if we go and then if we go to Vtest and we copy how to install this. So basically you just need a config function where you add the adapter in, and that's it. Just like that. And then you also need to add to your dependency list as well. Just like that. It's going to install that. And then if I open my test file, and if I do colon neo test, and then I do run. It's going to run that test, as you can see. Similarly, I can go to this test, do the same command, new test run, and it's going to run the test. Now, for this one, let's just make this test break. So let's go to this hello world, and let's make it so it doesn't actually increment. So if I just get rid of this, if I make it decrement, then we jump back to it, and I do test, uh, new test run. As you can see, we got a fail that time. So this is great because you can see the inline fail for individual tests. And additionally, you can also run a command called neo test, um, neo test output, and that will show you the output of what, what failed. Similarly, you can do neo test summary, which will show a little panel on the side that shows the summary of all the tests that you've run. So for example, it shows us there that this test is the one failing. Now this is great, but we can improve this. Let's add some key maps. So I just want to do TR for test run. TI for like test information, which will give us the test output, and TS for the test summary. So if we right and quit that, jump back to our test file. Now I forgot to mention, if you're in a test and you do test run, it'll run that test just like that. But if you're not in a test and you do test run, it'll run all the tests in the file, just like that. So now that we've got our key map set up, we can easily do everything we need. So we can get the summary on the side. And if a test fails, we can do leader TI for the information of why the test failed. Okay, perfect. Now let's add Jest. So this is def definitely another easy addition. You just simply add it here and here. And it uses the same commands. So it'll be TR, TI, and TS. If we jump in here, now it's going to install Jest, just like that. And if I go to one of these tests, I'll do leader TS. Sorry, leader TR. And there we go, run. I can do the same. View them on the side, just like that. Now let's add one last command, leader TA. Now this is going to run a Lua command. It's going to run the whole test suite in a project. So if we go back to our project from before, and let's say if we open a random page, and then if we do leader TS to see the sidebar at the side, and we do leader TA now, it's going to run all the tests that we have available in this test suite. So for example, if I delete this welcome, and I do leader TA and run all the tests again, we're going to see that I've broken some tests. Okay, there you have it. We've got tests running in NeoVim. Next episode, we're going to be covering Git integrations. See you then.